This digital marketing. Digital marketing. Welcome to the world of digital marketing. And digital marketing. Listen, as small business owners, we hear a lot about digital marketing, but what about the more traditional advertising options like, let's say, billboards? I happen to be a small business owner like you, but I also happen to be a professional marketer for a large healthcare organization. And quite frankly, I've been doing that for a long ass time. One of the most common arguments that I have with people is about just how effective billboards still are in 2024. So before you write billboards off completely, let me just go ahead and dispel a few myths. Billboard advertising is out of date and doesn't work. False. Billboard advertising is too expensive for small businesses. False. Billboards are only effective for big companies or brands. And you guessed it. False. So if you've been curious about billboard advertising and want to learn exactly what options you have for billboard advertising in 2024, because y'all, it has changed over the years, believe it or not, what unique benefits that billboard advertising can offer your small business, how much you can expect to pay for billboard advertising, and finally tips for negotiating those billboard rates, then stick around. Let's play a little game. It's Sunday afternoon. We have to go pick out stain for our log cabin and we're gonna take a drive out to Home Depot, which is typically about a 35 minute to 45 minute drive for us, which is a typical drive time for a lot of Americans. Let's count and see exactly how many billboards we see on the way. All right, so I counted about 41 billboards in our short 35 to 45 minute commute. That begs the question, what do these healthcare organizations, law firms, restaurants, and other small businesses know about billboard advertising that still continues to drive customers into their business? Let's go ahead and get into it. The truth is that billboard advertising, also known in the industry as OOH or out of home advertising, is still a very viable, reliable, and effective advertising option for small businesses in 2024. Yes, we hear a lot about digital ads, but y'all saw how many billboard installations we had from my house all the way to Home Depot. Now, combine that with the fact American drivers put more miles on our roadways in 2023 than ever before. And the fact that even the New York Times has told us that most Americans still have to commute every day about 27 minutes to be exact. And if we follow the money, in 2023 alone, businesses spent nine billion, yes, with a B, on billboard advertising alone. Y'all, people are not gonna continue to invest in advertising that is not giving them the results they want. So if it doesn't translate into increased sales, people are not going to continue to invest in these advertising options. What does billboard advertising look like in 2024? 
As of right now, there are three options when it comes to billboard advertising. Static, also known as vinyl billboards, digital billboards, and 3D billboards. Let's look at how each of these differs. Static billboards creates consistency and exclusivity in the sense that it is a printed copy of an ad that gets plastered on the billboard space that you purchase. It doesn't change. There are no other advertisers on this type of billboard unless you, of course, go halvesies with someone on it. But the contract gives you uncompetitive attention for that particular space. Pros. Dedicated space for only one advertiser. Same design can stay up for as long as the vinyl holds out and for the length of your contract. Cons. Can only do one design at a time and includes additional costs for vinyl print and sometimes installation. Digital billboards. Creates an opportunity for more impressions, more location options, and multiple messaging options on your end because they are digital images that switch up within a matter of seconds. Pros. You can run multiple designs at once. Contracts usually involve regions or geographic zones where you can run your ads across multiple digital billboards. And usually there is no charge for the billboard company to come up with the designs if you don't have someone on your team to help you do that. Cons, you share billboard time or space with other advertisers. 3D creates an immersive experience and usually helps businesses really stand out. Pro's biggest selling point here is that it is super engaging and grabs the attention of passerbys. Cons, more expensive. Not all billboard companies have the capability to do this. And these usually take longer time to execute from idea to design to creation to installation. What unique benefits does billboard advertising bring to small businesses? In my personal opinion, as a professional marketer that has been around the block for some time now, I've seen many trends come and go and have been here for a lot of the change in consumer behavior. There are five unique benefits that billboard advertising really brings to small businesses. Number one, standing out from digital fatigue. Yes, believe it or not, people are tired of seeing all of these ads pop up on their phones and on their laptops, whether they're on social media platforms or just on random websites looking for stuff that they need to purchase because so many other businesses are spending a large part of their marketing budget on digital ads. So now if you're doing billboard advertising, you're not just showing up on their screens, but you're actually showing up on their commute to and from work or while they're out and about running errands or shuffling the kids to soccer games. Now, this doesn't mean that I recommend that you dump all of your money into billboard advertising, but it can help to supplement or to make your business feel like it's everywhere because you're not just on the screen, but also showing up out in the real world. Number two, they are great for building brand awareness. So in every marketing campaign, you want to have a specific goal or objective. And billboards are really great if you're looking to just build a general brand awareness. So it doesn't have to be hyper specific. If let's say you are a clothing boutique and you have three boutiques within a you know 15, 25, 50 mile radius, then getting some billboards within that area that have your logo, what you do, perhaps an image of your actual storefront or some of the most popular products that you carry. It can really help with developing some of that brand awareness so that people start to pay attention to your name and know that you have locations within that specific area. And this is why you see a lot of law firms, healthcare organizations, specialists, uh, insurance agents, real estate agents, utilize billboards because they want to build that brand awareness within these communities. Number three, they allow you to get hyper specific with your campaigns. Now I know I just told you you could do a general brand awareness campaign, but billboards are also really good about allowing you to narrow down the communities and the areas that you want to target based on households, income, and family types. This is great if, for example, let's say you're a realtor and you are wanting to focus on a very specific community. 
So here in the Charleston area, we have several communities. We have downtown Charleston, we have uh, Mount Pleasant, we have Somerville. If you're a realtor that let's say wants to focus on Mount Pleasant, because that's what you have been doing over the last 10 to 15 years, and you consider yourself a specialist with that specific area, well then obviously getting billboards within that Mount Pleasant region would make sense. You wouldn't want to invest your money in other regions, but you would want to do it in your backyard. Another really great example of this would be, let's say you own a restaurant and you're in a city that sees an uptick during tourist season. Well, you could easily look for billboards that are located near, let's say, airports, because that's where a lot of the tourists are gonna be flying into. And if you find prime billboard locations around that airport, then it can give people the opportunity to see your ad and to say, oh, perhaps I want to visit that restaurant while I'm here. Or at least it could motivate them enough to actually Google you and then look at your reviews and all of that good stuff. Number four, they offer a community feel. So there's this really fun, phenomenal thing that happens whenever you put your logo, your business, or your picture on a billboard people notice. You become somewhat of a local celebrity. So I think that is one of the best ways to actually show that you're engaged in the community and that you are there, local and present. Number five, they offer a leg up to brick and mortar businesses. If you live in the South, you know this to be true. If there's a Chick-fil-A that opens up, they always take a billboard out on the main interstate that tells you what exit that Chick-fil-A is at. So it'll say Chick-fil-A five miles ahead, exit 149. Directional billboards are super effective for any type of brick and mortar store. Even if you are, let's say, a baby clothing boutique in the center of a shopping center, if you were to take out a smaller billboard that is close within maybe a two mile range, of where your location is at, you could effectively come up with a design that says the name of your business, two miles ahead on the right. So it helps to give people a little bit of direction and then it's also establishing that brand awareness. How much can you expect to pay for billboard advertising? Now this one is a little tricky to answer because there are so many factors that go into just how much a billboard can cost. So you could pay anywhere from let's say $750 a month to upwards of $7,500, but here's why. One of the biggest factors that goes into determining exactly how much you're paying for a billboard or a set of billboards is going to be the location. So let me give you a perfect example of this. This right here is the greater Charleston area. Now we have downtown Charleston and we have Mount Pleasant, which is about 10 miles outside of downtown Charleston. And we also have Somerville, which is about 25 or 20 miles outside of Charleston. Now what you pay for a billboard in Somerville is going to be less than what you pay for a billboard in Mount Pleasant. So the same billboard, same size in Somerville could cost you $1,500 for four weeks, but that same size billboard in Mount Pleasant could cost you anywhere from $7,000 to $10,000 for four weeks. And if you're wondering exactly how the billboard companies decide what to charge for each one of these billboards, is driven by inventory, so the amount of billboards that they have in that particular geographic area, which is the case for Mount Pleasant. So in Somerville, we have a lot more billboards than we do in Mount Pleasant, which means that they can charge more in Mount Pleasant because the inventory just isn't there. The traffic count, so the number of cars that go by, and subsequently the eyeballs that they get from those cars driving by, they know exactly how many vehicles are passing through these routes. They have that data and they're looking at it consistently. So anytime that a region starts to grow and that traffic goes up, they are then able to use that data to drive their billboard prices up as well. Because now you have more people that are potentially going to be seeing your billboard ad. 
and the demographics of the surrounding communities. So the billboard companies also have really solid information on the age groups, the household incomes, the family sizes of all of these communities that are surrounding their billboard locations. And so that means that if you are trying to target a more affluent community, then you can expect to probably pay a little more for those billboards in that area. And lastly, the demand for each specific billboard. So the truth is that some billboards are just more favorable than others. If you are looking to put your ad on a billboard that is prime time in a really great location, then it's likely to always be in demand. And what typically will happen is that advertisers will actually sign these long-term contracts for a very specific billboard. So it could be that you are wanting a very particular billboard, but it's not gonna be available for the next six months because somebody already has it contracted out for the next six months. Length of contract. Just like with any other advertising contract, the longer the terms or the commitment that you make to them, the better the price point. So for example, if you were to sign up for a one month contract, that's gonna be much more expensive than if you were to sign up for a three month contract. Now, if you sign up for a six month contract, you're gonna be able to negotiate an even better rate. And if you do a year long contract, that's really where you're able to go in and kind of do a little wheeling and dealing with those rates design and installation. This is going to be very specific to whichever type of billboard you decide to do, whether that be vinyl billboards, digital billboards, or 3D billboards. So I've broken it down for you. For each one of these, these are the costs that are going to be associated with it. For static, also known as vinyl billboards, you'll want to include all of the following costs the contracted rate for four weeks, or however long your contract is for, designing of the ad, whether that's hiring a marketing firm or you can do this yourself, or you may even be able to convince the billboard company to do this for free for you. Cost to print the vinyl, cost to install the vinyl. Some billboard companies actually do not charge for this separately. For digital billboards, you'll want to include all of the following costs the contracted rate for four weeks or however long your contract is for, designing of the ad, whether that be through a marketing firm or you can do this yourself as we already mentioned, or you potentially could get the billboard company to do this for you for free. And for 3D billboards, you'll want to include all of the following costs, the contracted rate for four weeks or however long your contract is for, designing of the ad, whether that be a marketing firm, you likely cannot get away with doing this one on your own and the billboard company may not have the talent that is needed to do this for you. Physical cost to produce the billboard itself, if any added parts are needed on the billboard, and cost to install the design. Additionally, you may also want to inquire about if there are any costs to remove the design. If this billboard requires a lot of different elements, they may actually charge you to remove part of the design at the end of your campaign. And finally, tips for negotiating the best rates for billboard advertising. Based on my experience, there are a couple tricks that you can use in order to negotiate the best ad rates for these billboards. Tip number one, see what kind of discount rate you can negotiate based on the length of the contract. As I mentioned earlier, if you are planning to do a six month contract, you have way more negotiating power than if you were to only do a one month contract with the billboard company. So go ahead and be very upfront and just ask them, where are those price point breaks? So will you give me a discount if I sign a three month contract? Will you give me a discount if I sign a six month contract, 12 month contract? Tip number two, don't be afraid to ask for a little customization. A lot of times these billboard companies will actually break down, let's say their digital billboards into zones. Now, if you're looking to target very specific areas, but you don't happen to see 
that location or area within those zones. Ask them if they have any wiggle room to be able to customize a package or something specifically for you. So tell them upfront exactly what it is you're thinking and see if there's any way for them to be able to accommodate. They may be able to say, hey, if you're willing to you know, give up one or two of the digital billboards in this zone, then we may be able to supplement it with a digital billboard in this other area that you're looking to specifically target. Tip number three, negotiate the add-ons. Don't think that you have to stick to negotiating just the billboard rate. Think about it. We were talking about how each one of the billboard options has a different cost associated with it when it comes to design and installation. Let's say, for example, you choose to go with a vinyl billboard campaign and you're signing a six month contract. You can easily say, hey, you're charging me $500 to print the vinyl. Since I'm signing up for a six month contract, will you consider dropping that down to $350 to print the vinyl? So that way you can change up the designs a little more and you're saving a little money every time that you do so. Tip number four, ask what other types of advertising options these companies have. Believe it or not, a lot of them are actually starting to offer options like geofencing advertising, even digital ads, all of that good stuff. By asking them what else they're offering, because a lot of times they are not doing it as their primary source of business, obviously all the money, over $9 billion is in billboard advertising, but because they are getting their feet wet in some of these other options, they may be open to you testing or trying or negotiating a really good deal to get a feel for what they offer on that end. And so don't think that you just have to stick to billboard advertising. You can, if you find out that they offer geofencing advertising, perhaps you can include that in your package at a heavily discounted rate because they want to kind of build up their clientele for that particular market as well. And sometimes that allows you to knock out other marketing initiatives that you had planned anyways, just under one bundled contract. Yes, it's 2024 and yes, billboard advertising is still super effective. Take it from a professional marketer who does this on a daily basis and uses leverages billboard advertising to build brand awareness. There is a reason that law firms, real estate agents, and even insurance agents still use billboard advertising. Hey, if you're an SOB, small loan business, stick around and watch this next video right here. And don't forget to go visit our website at theseasonmarketer.com where you could sign up for our weekly email list to get even more marketing news and information. And we also have a ton of free downloads that you could take full advantage of today. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week, same time and place.